and welcome to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, welcome. Here we talk about home education in the United Kingdom and family life, motherhood, uh, all sorts of things, anything that's involving being a mum of three. So as the title suggests, I wanted to talk about home education, scheduling and uh, rhythms and what that means for our family and how you can implement it too. So I'm asked on a regular basis, what does home education really look like? What does it look like for your family? What does it look like for you? Because people sometimes you feel like maybe I'm not, you're not doing enough or you're feeling lonely in the journey of home education. And that's really, really common. I feel it all the time, even though I've, my children have never been to school. They've always been home educated. And even sometimes I still wobble and think, oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing enough? Are we doing enough hours? All of that sort of thing. So I wanted to show you our home ed schedule. So this is an example. This is not the exact one because obviously some things um, are maybe obvious where they go and I'm trying to preserve my children's privacy. But this is a good example of what our week looks like. And in the spirit of making sure that you, your lives are as easy as possible and that you can do what I'm doing if you wish to, I've got some free printables. Their link is in the description. You can go over to my pay hip store and there's loads and loads of stuff on there that is free. Uh, there's a few things that are paid for. If you really, really like them, then you can um, get like a more in-depth version or something like that. But these are free. There's uh, one, there's one for five children, like a space for five children, space for four children, three children, two children, and one child. So uh, this I found is really, really useful for reminding my children what we're doing. So they know what is expected of them that day or what we're doing outside of the home that day. So I've got my children's names down the side, Charles, Bessie, and Albert. And then I've written in uh, the things that we do um, on those days now uh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna yawn my way through this you'll have to uh, you're gonna have to let me off as usual I am the queen of yawning so on Mondays and I am filming on a Monday right now so um that gives you a little idea of it's so quiet because two of them are not here on mondays bessie and albert go to forest school it's a local forest school that is a drop-off club so i let i drop them off um in the mornings and then pick them up again in the afternoon and that's actually where philip is right now it's his day off today and he is uh, he's gone to pick the kids up so they're at forest school that means it's a day for charles to get some home ed done without them distracting him he's easily distracted he's definitely autistic and he's uh waiting to be referred for adhd uh, assessment so like focus and stuff like that is really is something hard for him so it, he gets a lot more done when he's home alone at least home alone without his siblings on tuesdays it's our only free day where we don't have anything out of the house and that is our unit study day or our project day so as i mentioned in one of my previous videos uh we have been doing this project-based learning is working really really well for us and tuesday is a day for us all to work on that uh wednesdays we will also work on unit study or project or project learning whichever one you want to call it and then we also have swimming every other week so on the days we don't have swimming, we will go more in depth. And then one of the weeks we don't, then we will not go as more, as in depth maybe on those days. On Thursdays, Charles has forest school and the other two are at home with me. And that is basic maths, English, uh, science with them. Usually it's just English and maths, to be honest, because science comes into the project based learning, the unit study. If you've downloaded it, you will know it's um, very thorough. So um, we we don't need to do science, but sometimes they want to do like an M an MEL science box or something like that. And that's a day when we'll whack that out because I can be a little bit more focused with making sure no one spills gosh knows what all over the carpet. And then on Fridays, we take this time if it's very bad weather and we don't want to go out um, somewhere, we will. <sighs> Uh, this is this is this is real isn't it this is why i always do really real i don't edit it out if i can help it because um a, a couple of people have mentioned in the comments recently about they like how real and um candid and normal my videos are they're not polished um 
I'm not polished. I am a regular woman. Uh, my hair is a bit messy. It is clean, which is a miracle. I don't wear makeup very often. My eyebrows are not shaped. Like, I've probably got some chin hairs going on here, to be honest. Uh, this is real. I am dressed in a Disney hoodie that I got in January this year. It's 2004 when I open my arms out, you know, which is way too big for me because it's comfy and snuggly. Like, this is real life. And that includes me having a very busy life and being very tired. So I yawn all the time. <laughs> I'm also asthmatic, so I yawn a lot. Uh, so I haven't put on here that Charles also goes to a STEM club uh, where he does computer science and science, regular science, uh, kind of like physics, really. Um, uh, with a group of other children they actually are all boys i think uh there's no girls in the group it's not that there couldn't be girls in the group but i'm pretty sure all of the people in the club in the class are boys and, and during that time uh my other children and i bessie and albert we take we have the dogs with us and we just go and have fun um we sometimes go for a walk in the forest uh, last time here we go again Ooh. last time <laughs> we headed uh headed up to a park and we found a park that has a dog field in it and it's an enclosed field and the dogs can run around off the lead it was so good uh so i think we will probably go there again this week just because it just made life a lot easier so yeah <laughs> So that's what our week looks like. And if you want to check out the project based learning, they, the links in the description to my pay hip shop and you can check them out there. You can get a month for free or you can have a whole year for £11, uh, which I mean, how does that that works out as like, oh, my gosh, how much does that work out? as? Let's find out. Let me uh, 11 divided by 52. That works out as 21p a week. Your entire curriculum for 21p a week it's a bargain it's a steal so check it out um it used to be 25 pounds and i have slashed the price because i thought to myself would i buy something like that that was 25 pounds and then i thought no i probably wouldn't so i have reduced it to the price that i would pay for it um i think it's probably worth 25 pounds that's still only like that's still like 50p a week uh, but i wanted to make it affordable for everybody i want everyone to um be able to access it and use it uh, we are using it and we're loving it and uh, everything that I'm putting on to my pay hip shop I may I've made on Canva uh, with my Canva I love Canva I live for Canva um, I've made on Canva because I use it in my house and in my life and I want you to be able to use it too so I hope that uh, it's useful to you and uh i hope that you're enjoying these videos i'm really enjoying making them and getting back into the flow of things i have set myself a goal to get into the youtube partnership program within the year so i've made a note of when i started posting three times a week regularly again and um which probably is the first time ever i've done three times a week regularly um so i have made myself a note of um when i started which was the 25th of October that's when I posted for the first time in this bunch and that is my goal that by the 25th of October 2025 I'm going to be in the partnership program I have some financial goals that I would like to meet um which is what the reason for the digital digital products you're going to see a lot more of those I'm also uh going to be having a go at doing some TikTok videos and seeing how I get on there uh also showing my digital products and stuff like that on there so we'll see we'll see how it goes I really want to change our lives to a point that not that they're unrecognizable but that my husband the pressure is off of my husband that the pressure is off of our finances that uh, we are present and home more all of that sort of thing so this is my means of doing it uh my husband would like to change he he lost his job as i talked about in one of my videos and um he got a new job he is a postman now and he's enjoying it but uh it doesn't really um it does it covers everything uh but it's hard work so um we are we well, yeah i'm I have some goals as i said i have some financial goals and these are making them i also have some stuff coming up in the future that i really really want to uh, fund and uh they're not going to happen in any other way they're going to cost a couple of thousand pounds and 
uh, and this is the way I'm going to do it. So here I am. I'm being authentic about this. I hate it when you see videos and you absolutely know that they are pushing a product that they don't believe in or they're just doing it for the money or something like that. And I'm making a promise to you now that is never going to happen. I will never push a product. I will never do a brand deal or anything like that that I do not believe in 100%. I will not. Even if they're like, here's £10,000. And I'm like, well, this is the most rubbish thing I've ever seen in my life. I would just say no, because my integrity is more important to me. And I hope that the people that I, I imagine when I'm talking to you all, that you're my friends and uh, you are all important to me. And I hope that um, I hope that maybe I'm important to you too. Uh, so that's my promise to you is that I'm going to keep my integrity about this. Um, but yes, so... I mean, maybe if it was £10,000, I would say to them, give me half and I'll just be honest. Because, <laughs> you know, money's money, right? Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It means the world to me. We are like over 2,000 now. And I did have a plan for going to 2,000. Uh, but um, I we just, we haven't got there. Like, we haven't got anything. There was nothing that kind of jumped out at me. About what I was going to do. So uh, if you have any ideas about what we can do to celebrate being well over 2000 now, we're like 2200, um, let me know. I tell you what, if maybe we could do something like an Amazon gift card or something like that, some kind of gift voucher, if we got to 2500 by the 1st of January. If we can get 2500 by the 1st of January, I will give one of you 20 quid Amazon gift voucher to spend on whatever you like. Maybe it'll be a book token. Oh, I love a book token. Who else loves a book token? Raise your hand. Me. Okay, I always do this, don't I? I say bye, like and subscribe, and then I talk again for another minute. I'm really going now. I'm really going. Okay, I love you all. Take care. Bye. Like and subscribe. Or else. I'm joking. Nothing will happen to you. I'll be.